Hello, great people. Welcome back to Global Happenings today. The two ministers who are involved in the relocation of FFN, that's Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria, and also CBN office to Lagos for efficiency seems to be quiet, but yet their quietness is taken as arrogancy as the northerners have now left Tinibu to focus on both of them, lambasting them up and down, and they have placed a demand on Tinibu to do this to these two ministers. Also in a related development, Alin Dume, who had come under hot fire over his comments about the relocation of uh, FFN and the central bank office to lagos has spoken up this time around you know he said at first that uh, the reason that if tinibu continue the relocation process that he's going to get an impact which according to him he says it's going to be a political consequences as a result of that action but this time around he's facing the critics who have been lambasting him to give them a piece of his mind why he sh he should tell Bolame Tinibu the truth. Let's take the news uh, in detail. Now, according to the news, the Joint Action Committee of Northern Youth Association has demanded the removal of the Minister of Aviation, Festus Kiyamo, and the Governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, Yemi Kadosu. The group made the demand via a communique issue on Thursday and signed by its convener, Mutala Abuoka, Director of Public Communication and Strategy, Azim Tom and Director of Gender Mobilization Latifa Abdul Salam. The group praised the northern carcass of the Senate but urged the lawmakers to seek the sack of the two appointees of President Bolamed Tinibu. They urged the Senate to give Tinibu a deadline to stop the relocation of some sector of the CBN and Federal Airport Authority FAAN to Lagos. According to them, and I quote, he said, given the magnitude of the decision by the CBN and FAAN that demonstrate the unsuitability of the chief executive to preside over federal institution, we urge our representatives to demand the immediate removal of the governor of Central Bank and the Minister of Aviation from the opposition. This is not a punitive measure, but an urgent step to restore public trust, ensure accountability, and uphold the constitu constitutional integrity of key institutions that significantly influence our nation's economy and administrative landscape. They added that the decision that impacts on the country's economy and administrative landscape must be made with competence, transparency, and adherence to constitutional principles. We call on our representatives in the National Assembly to exercise their full legislative oversight function. We urge them to set a definite deadline for the executives to rescind the decision related to the relocation of CBN Department and FAAN headquarters as well as to take proactive corrective measure. Meanwhile, in a related development, Alin Dume, who is the chief whip of the Senate, has replied the Kogi West Senator, Senator Sunday Karimi, over his statement or over his latest remark on Wednesday. Karimi had earlier berated Ndume over his statement on relocating some critical central bank of Nigeria CBN department alongside the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria to Lagos. Recall that Ndume, who represents Bronu South at the Senate, said President Tinibu was being ill-advised by Lagos boys in the corridors of power. However, Karimi has announced that Ndume's statement does not represent the opinion of Northern Senators. But speaking in response to Karimi's comment, Ndume said he has not speak on behalf of the Northern Senators or the Senate, but as a Northerner in support of the majority of Northerners. According to him, he said, with all due respect, I did not speak on behalf of the Northern Senators or the Senate, but as a Northerner in support of the majority of Northerners and some Nigerians who are against the action of CBN Governor and the Minister of Aviation. A famous former American president said patriotism means to stand by the country. It does not mean to stand by the president or any other public officials, save exactly to the degree in which he himself stands by the country. 
it is patriotic to support him in so far as he efficiently served the country. It is unpatriotic not to oppose him to the exact extent that by inefficiency or otherwise he fails in his duty to stand by the country. In either event, it is unpatriotic not to tell the truth, whether about the president or anyone else. While quoting Theodore Roosevelt, Ndume added another quotation by the same great American president that to announce they must to announce that there must be no criticism of the president or that we are to stand by the president right or wrong is not only unpatriotic and civil but is a mere or is morally reasonable or morally treasonable to the American public. In other words, he's telling Nigerians that the president, though he is uh, in charge of the country, must be uh, castigated if he is not working in in sync with the interests of the Nigerian people, which I truly stand by him. But then, uh, my colleague is in the house. This is quite burdensome. The people who are talking so much about the issue of relocating the offices of, uh, or let me say, standing against the relocation of the offices of the Central Bank and FFN had been the Northerners. The Easterners are not saying anything, and the South South seems not to be responding again. And here we are hearing that a North Central uh, Senate representative has come out to say that Ali Ndume only spoke his mind, but he is not speaking on behalf of the senators, which means most of them are okay with whatever will be done. Just like uh, one of Nigerian uh, former ex a to President Jonathan had said, Reno Mokri, that most of the monies that are made in Lagos actually does not stay in Lagos. It goes to other parts of the country. So if there is need for there to be a relocation, which will bring about efficiency in the delivery of uh, the duties of uh, the CBN to for the betterment of the entirety of the country, it's his cool by that. Now, what's your standpoint on the reply of Alin Dume or and also the demand by the people of uh, uh, the Northern Group demanding the sack of Cardozo, the CBN governor, and Kiyamo. Well, I, I, I wouldn't understand why they are going by this way because they are beginning to they are beginning to bring in ethnic coloration to this. Now, but then again, you would understand why they are feeling that way. For eight years, they have enjoyed some level of supremacy and um, federal consideration. Like uh, the person of Ren Uncle would say, imagine if someone like uh, uh, Dangote, though has has a refinery in uh, Lagos State, even though it's a private one, decides to move his refinery from Lagos State to Kano. How will Lagosians living in Lagos feel? They will feel cheated. They will want to tell someone to do everything they can to to bring back uh, the person of Dangote, even though it's a private power starter. How much more a federal agency like? FAAAN, that's a Federal Authority, Airport Authority, and CBN. And then they're saying sacking of the CBN governor. They barely just brought one in. MFLA just came out, this Kodoso just coming in. So maybe they feel there's some level of conspiracy somewhere that they know about that we do not know. You know, remember there are a lot of top two things going on in the background. Uh, fairly recently, the, human, the former humanitarian minister was called in by EFCC. E- e- so maybe, just maybe there's something they are not telling us. But I know that with due time, we'll find out. But if you ask me, it's beginning to have some level of ethnic coloration to all this. All right. That-